Hey everybody, welcome back to the Engineered Angler. Let me show you the stands I'm making. I came up with this little Lexan stand. Uh, the big trick is finding the Lexan. Uh, some way to do it that's inexpensive enough to make it worthwhile. So I did come up with something. This one's a little rough, but we're going to make another one and maybe refine it just a little bit. Uh, let me show you how I do it. So here are our components. We still got to kind of do some sanding, a little bit of polishing, a little bit of shaping here for, for this uh, upright. Uh, these are the cradles, and this little arch is the strut that goes between them. Uh, it's a little too long right now. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, trim it back. So I'm using this graph paper just to be sure that I get as close to squaring everything up as possible. This way the final product will actually stand and won't flop over. Uh, let me cut a little off this and then we'll get back to it. Okay, I've got this trimmed down where I want it. I'm going to go ahead and just sort of scrape off the excess. And then I'm going to take it over to the polishing wheel and try to make it look a little better. That should look good. I'm going to give this a light sanding. Can't get too fussy. Let's go out there and polish it up a little bit. This plastic's a little soft for that polisher, but it did a little bit of a better job anyway. Uh, I'll just clean it off and see what it looks like. Well, the polishing wheel didn't do a great job. It, uh, this plastic's too soft for that polishing wheel. But uh, I've got another trick up my sleeve to try to get this a little more shiny. Okay, let's use some of this UV clear to give it a little polished clear coat. Okay, I'm going to let that set for about 5-10 minutes just to be sure it's good and hard. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with how glassy these came out. They're not perfect, but they're pretty nice. And the next step is to glue this strut onto the bases. This part is simple enough. All I'm going to do is put a drop of crazy glue on each end. Squeeze them together, hold it for a little bit, and then spritz it with a little bit of a accelerator, and that should do it, I think. Shouldn't take much more than a drop. 
And then after, after I get this thing set, I'll probably put a little more of that UV cure. And give it a little spritz. And if the strut's a little higher on one or the other, it really doesn't matter, just as long as it doesn't fall over. And a little bit of a spritz. Right. So that's pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to wipe it down a little and then fill in the little gaps with a little bit of the UV clear and put it up against that light again. And then we'll take some pictures. Well, here's the final product with the glue points. Got to be pretty happy with it. So the materials were really inexpensive, 88 cents there for that set of uh, salad tongs. Uh, and the work wasn't too bad. Uh, pretty quick, pretty simple. Could, could have been done with just hand tools. So hopefully this gives you some ideas and maybe you can use this in your lure shop. Hopefully we'll be fishing on the next video. I hope to get a couple of these brand new lures out on the water and uh, get some saltwater fishing in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share this with your friends. Catch you on the next video.